these two factoring problems are going to involve a uh, difference between two squares. Again, not a new concept, but what I found in this particular section is that um, Edmentum really likes to integrate factoring the greatest common factor into the other types of problems. They didn't do it so much with the cubes, but they have done it with uh, many of the other different types of problems. And that is true on this particular problem here, which is uh, 162 minus 50x to the fourth. We look for the greatest common factor. And what I notice is that 162 and 50 are even. So I'm going to factor out a 2. And when we do, we get 81 minus 25x to the fourth. So again, this is a binomial, and uh, that means one, two terms. Uh, same thing with the one, two terms with the original problem. And it's the difference between two squares. So you could make a list here. I didn't do it, but one squared is one, and two squared is four, and three squared is nine, and so forth. You could make a list like you did for the cubes, or maybe you haven't watched the cube video yet. But difference between two squares, we're going to split this up into two parentheses. And the square root of 81 is 9, so this is going to be 9 times 9. Square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of x to the fourth is x squared. The thing about difference between two squares is that you're going to have the same numerical expressions or um, just expressions, I should say. The 9's are the same, the 5x squareds are the same, we'll get this out eventually. And then it's going to be difference between two squares. I tend to write the minus first and the plus second. It does not make any difference. So if we look over here to problem number 6, it's the same idea. And what we want to look for is, do we have a greatest common factor? And between x cubed and x, it's an x, the lowest exponent. Between y and y, it's y, so we factor that out. Now we're left with 9x squared minus 100. And then again, it's difference between two squares. So we're going to set up two parentheses. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 100 is 10. And then we use different signs. 